Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 157 in the series of basic math. Today we'll solve a problem on the topic of ratio and proportions. Ratio and proportions, and this is going to be our 17th video in the series of 20 on the topic of ratios and proportions. Problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that we have a school. We are told that in a school, in a school, we are told that the ratio of second graders to the fourth graders is five to three. We are further told that the ratio of first grader to second grader is seven to ten. And finally, we are told that the ratio of third graders to fourth graders is five to six. And the question simply is, what is the ratio of first grader to third graders? So we have four grades. 1st grade, 2nd grade, 3rd grade and 4th grade, 1st class, 2nd class, 2nd, 3rd class and 4th class as, as it is called in some parts of the world. And the ratio simply, uh, question simply is, what's the ratio of 1st grade to 3rd graders? 1st graders to 3rd graders. I'll give you now 5 seconds for you, to be able, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. I want you to pause the video, solve the problem yourself once you have the answer, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Do you understand? I will give you 5 seconds, as I said, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. I'll get out of your way now. One more time. First grader, uh, second grader to fourth grader is five to three. First grader to second grader is seven to ten. Third grader to fourth grader is five to six. What's the ratio of first to third? All right, let's get going. See what we have. Our well, very first thing, very first thing we need to do here is to make up symbols for these things here, to second grader and fourth grader. So we have we have first grader, we have first grader, we have second grader, we have third graders, and we have fourth graders. Very first thing we're going to do is make up symbols for them so that it's easier for us to deal with them. First grader, let's call them let's call them F for the first grader. The first grader we're just going to call them F. Second grader S. The third grader T. And finally, the fourth grader, the fourth grader, we cannot call it F because we are using F to use the first grader. So we're going to refer to, we're going to refer to, we will refer to our fourth grader as the last grade. And we're going to call it letter L. Because it, because it is the last grade in the elementary school. Okay. These are fourth grader, these are, these are kids in the elementary school. The last grade. And then they move on to middle school. Let's, let's put down the information that is given to us. The very first mean ratio is the ratio of second grader to fourth grader is five to three. Let's put it up here. Remember, second to fourth. Second to fourth is five to three. Second to fourth is five to three. Second to fourth, which is the last, is five to three. That's the first one we have to. We have further told that the ratio of first to second is seven to ten. First first to second is 7 to 10 and then finally we are told that the ratio of third to fourth third to fourth which is the last is 5 to 6 and what we want is what we want is first to third Well, let's see what we can do. Somehow we have to manipulate this thing and figure out what's going on. The very first thing I hope that you notice the way I wrote down on the blackboard. I did it quite inadvertently. This this is second to last, second to last, which is five to three. Let's put it here underneath it, and you will see in a second why. So that's the first one here. Then we have first to last, first or first to second, first to second, which we are told is seven to ten. Are you able to see immediately when when they are, when they are put in, uh, next to each other? In this in, in this juxtaposition, position, are you able to see immediately that if you were to multiply this ratio by that ratio, S is going to drop out. If you were to multiply it, if you were to multiply this thing, S will drop out, and what will end up is the ratio of first to last. What will end up here is the ratio of first to last. Notice also now, once we have the ratio of first to last, once we have the ratio of first to last from here, once we have this ratio, we know this one. Third to last, third to last, first to last, notice, third to last, 
first to last, we can get rid of this last. We can get rid of this L when we work with these two ratios. And once we get rid of the L, we'll have F to T, which is exactly what we need here, F to T. You'll see in it. You'll see it in a second. So let's finish up this process here. So if we multiply these together, we will end up with F on the top and L on the bottom, F on the top and L on the bottom, which is exactly what we have here. And what can we do? We have a 5 here, we have a 10 here. Let's divide top and bottom by 5, we'll end up with 2 here. So it's 7 over 3 times 2, which is 6. And this is the ratio of first to last. First to last. Now what we need to understand now is that once we have the first to last, once we have the first to last, let's do it here. Once we have the first to last, if you were to multiply it by this ratio here, third to last, that's not going to get us anywhere. That's not going to get us anywhere. We have to get rid of this L. The way we get rid of it is not by multiplying the two ratio, but by dividing the two ratio. When you divide it, this becomes first to last times last to third. We take the reciprocal, we take the reciprocal of this ratio, that becomes last to third, now we can get rid of the last, and we'll end up with first to third, which is exactly what we need here. Okay, almost there. So let's do it here. So this is going to be, this is going to be first to last, we just found out first to last, we just found out it's 7 over 6, times, times, this is times, we have to take the reciprocal of this ratio, third to last, third to last is right here, third to last, which is 5 over 6, we're going to take the reciprocal of it, it's going to become 6 over 5, 6 over 5, because we're multiplying it, we have to take the reciprocal of it, last, last to third, last to third is 6 over 5. 6 over 5. Oh, this is very simple. Oh, this is very nice. That's it. Well, this was, this was, we didn't have to do too much work at all. That's it. We're done. The answer is 7 to 5. The answer is, the ratio is 7 to 5. This ratio that we're looking for, this ratio that we were looking for turns out to be 7 to 5. That was it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I know.